All right, how's it going, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. We're going to be looking at ticker symbol GNLN. That's Green Lane Holdings. And man, uh, this has also been one of the uh, requested tickers, okay? So if you have a requested ticker symbol you want me to look at and analyze for you, if you have a crypto you want me to analyze for you, or if you have a, a tutorial you need me to make or anything like that, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do that for you. With that being said, let's hop right into this one at, uh, on GNLN, okay? So um, a lot of very good things I like here, okay? So we have one, we have this bullish pattern, which is going to be these two white lines right here, all right? This is what's known as a falling wedge, descending wedge, descending triangle, falling triangle, okay? Some people use different terms for it, um, but it's a bullish pattern, okay? So basically, you're going to see the stock price falling in this triangle shape, okay? And then eventually, it's going to break out of it on the upside and run up, okay? Um, and break out of it. So this is a bullish pattern. All right. So we have this long time frame bullish pattern. We're looking at the one year, one day chart. And this is uh, since the beginning of 2021, January. Okay. It's been making this pattern. Um, if we look from here on, I have these arrows one, two, three. So as you can see here, indicated by the arrows, we have a low here. We have a lower low and then a lower low. So we have three lower lows. But on our RSI, okay, I'll show you guys, we have, here's our low here, here's our low here, and then here's our low here. We have three higher lows, okay? That's what's known as bullish divergence, all right? So that's an indicator that um, in the future, you could see some bullish activity because the stock price is going lower, but the relative strength of the price of the price of the stock is gaining momentum. So that it's, it's saying, hey, really, honestly, this is honestly a good buy right here at these levels. You probably should buy. Okay, that's the way that certain people interpret these things on the RSI. And if you have a bunch of people seeing the same bullish divergence indicators and they all pour into it because they're expecting, you know, some bullishness off of the bullish divergence, then you could see a rally. Okay, so we have bullish divergence combined with our descending wedge, our falling wedge pattern. So that's two signs of future bullishness we have. Okay. And then the third sign we have is going to be right here, this gap fill at 198. Okay, so we have a daily chart gap. Daily gaps tend to fill about 90 to 95 percent of the time. It's just a matter of when. It may take a year. It may take a month. It may take a week. It may take five years. Okay, that's just how they work. But they're beautiful to chart out and to set some alerts for. Okay, so basically what you can do is you can go right below the gap, right click, hit create alert, at or above, and you would put your note gap filling okay so now when this alert goes off okay it's going to say the gap is filling and it's going to draw it to your attention because we're close to filling the gap okay and now you can put it on your radar and if it's carrying bullish momentum you can hop in a stock or you can hop into call options and ride that bullish momentum up towards the gap fill and sell there or see if it carries momentum and goes past the gap okay uh, these two yellow ovals i have right here are definitely going to be um my perfect entries okay there's no such thing as a perfect trader all right um but let's say um if this if we were to have a bullish breakout due to the three bullish indicators that we have all right and this uh descending wedge pattern was going to break out the golden entries are going to be right where it's squeezing the most okay so if you can get in right in here in these levels or you can get in down here at these levels and then it does break above and it, and it rallies up OK, these are going to be all my bullish price targets. All right. The descending wedge is a pretty bullish pattern. OK, and you could see it come up to like half of the wedge or to the top of the wedge. OK, so um, I have some bullish price targets here charted up. I'll show everyone. Uh, I'll try to zoom in so you can see a little bit more, a little bit better. OK, uh, we have uh, first bullish price target above the gap. OK, is going to be uh, three dollars basically even. All right. Right around $3, uh, we could see the breakout up to $3 and face some resistance. You can take profit there. All right, if this thing rallies past $3, then my next one is going to be $4. And then past that is basically going to be $5. And then above $5, um, our next major resistance level is going to be at $6.31. Okay, and above $6.31, it's going to be $7.14 from there. Okay, so um, this does have the possibility to break out and go all the way up to $7. OK, but I don't like to trade on best case scenarios and what things can possibly do. OK, 
what I like to do is look at what's realistic to happen first. Okay, so realistically, first we'll need a breakout from this uh, you know bullish pattern. Then after we get that breakout, we'll need the gap to fill. All right, and after the gap fills, we're gonna need enough volume and enough buying pressure. Okay, and enough institutional pressure. Okay, enough institutional money pouring into it, pouring tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars into the stock, so that we can get these further bullish price targets above three dollars. Okay. So I'd say first bullish price target, you can look to sell and take profits at. It's going to be right around $2. And then it basically goes up a dollar each one from there. So above $2, we could see $3. Above three, we could see four. Above four, we could see five. And don't be scared to sell and take profits at any one of these positions. You can always get back into a play. And you can always, you know, if you put $1,000 in um, at $1.50, uh, okay, and it goes up to $3, you can sell your whole position, okay, and then you can go back in with your original thousand dollars because you've already made a hundred percent and you've turned that one thousand into two thousand. Now, if you want to go back into the play, you can take your one thousand out that you have for profit and leave the one original one thousand dollar investment in there. Anything you make on top of that will be extra profits, and anything you lose won't really be a loss because you already made a hundred percent and you're just trying to see if there's any more in the play, okay. So if you get back in and then it goes down and you lose 20%, well, it was 20% of your profits that were 100%. So really you only lost about 80%, you still won 80% on your uh, original investment, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Be on the lookout for this one a lot. I like it a lot and it's also a very cheap stock so that could influence a bunch of retail traders to hop behind it. And we all know how Wall Street bets and retail communities love to pump stocks and try to send them to the moon, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want access to my Discord, um, you can use code Zachly, like the channel name Zachly Trades, and get yourself a discount on the membership, okay? Um, the link to join will be in the description below.